So I had a good day. I um, had a meeting with actually Ch Chad Caldwell, um, House of Representatives for Oklahoma. And um, it's like, okay, I had to get dressed up and actually wash my hair. And so it's like I ran out of the house with my hair wet still and uh, no makeup, of course, don't have time. I told him I said I have to clean up because I'm working in the warehouse after, after you know, up until 2.30. Anyway, he was nice, a um, little overwhelmed by the entirety of the experience because it's, it's huge and he recognizes that, he sure does. Um, he might feel a little bit intimidated. Uh, first thing he asked me, he said, because um, I was talking about the Sunset Law, he said, do you know if it was federal or state? I said, I don't know, I'm not for sure. I said, but I need to know more about it and um, Maybe I can even get in contact. I'm trying to reach the health freedom fighters. If any of y'all see this, and I'm going to have to just, I guess, send it out. Um, I need to know more about what you all had. Um, we're talking about when you were talking about the sunset law and closing down the um, healing arts, whatever. Healing arts, quote unquote, the healthcare fields that uh, weren't doing their job. And I told them, I said, basically what we have is a field that has failed to define itself. And into some details. Uh, it's a precursory glance, of course, but I'm pretty sure if he does any homework, and he seems like he's going to, that he'll see that. At a minimum, I'm thinking to myself, because I, I told him it just kind of flowed out, and I was, um, well, shoot, 33 years and 45 minutes. But I uh, talked about the beginning, Grandpa, went all the way through to what happened in August, and um, the atrocity of it. Um, Somewhere in there, I told him, I said, I, it's largesse, and, you know, I'm just the grandkid, but basically I need to be in the position of, the Oklahoma version of Fosse is what I need to be, you know, and, uh, anyway, I'm thinking, you know what, the realistic version of that is, put me on the board, put me on the board of chiropractic examiners, give them one last chance, one last chance to, uh, save themselves, I guess you could say. And he'd have to get me a meeting with the governor after he does his homework. And the governor has the means and ability to appoint. Now, what I find interesting, and I'll have to have an attorney define it for me, but in their own rules, they have it set up to where they cannot have, from what I gather, there's particular terminology, but I'll clarify it. But what I, how I read it is that they have it set up where basically they have their laws written in a way that they're kicking me off the board you know, preemptively, I guess you could say, I've uh, gotten it written such a way that uh, no grandkid of any chiropractor is ever going to sit with us, basically, is what they're saying. I'll have to clarify that and let you know for sure. But something about the third degree of sanguinity, I think is how it's phrased. And um, seeing my daughter August here, she joined us this afternoon. Sure enough. Yeah, and Grandpa. So, uh, my lawn art. That's my bicycle I had when I was a kid. So I'm still just a little kid chasing around after Grandpa, actually, and I think that came across today too. So it went well. I'm I'm optimistic, but still at the beginning of an experience that I'm still not sure what it is that I've got into. I just know I'm going to see it through, and uh, I'm hopeful and optimistic. But what I'm thinking is, is that the governor puts me on the board of chiropractic examiners and tells them basically as he's putting me in the position of the public member uh, he says to them I'm gonna I'm gonna expect some changes here and Tammy if you have any problem whatsoever with this motley crew you give me a shout I got your back and I have a feeling long story short that would be a nice little step to take mm-hmm